Hi, my name is Marcus Schmidt. I'm the Senior Director of Product at West Unified Communications and welcome to Whiteboard Fridays. So let's talk a little bit about Skype for Business and how you might integrate Skype for Business into your Unified Communications environment. So as you know, Skype for Business probably comes in a variety of different flavors. There's Skype for Business in the Office 365 cloud, or some people call that Skype for Business online. That's basically all hosted and managed by Microsoft. There's a Skype for Business server, which is something you could host on-prem or host with a partner. That's basically the Skype for Business code packaged up where you can install it on an actual server that you own or somebody else is operating for you. And then there's the Skype for Business clients, the software that runs on your smartphone or your tablet or your PC or your Mac. So when you think about integrating with Skype for Business, there's a variety of different things to consider. First of all, if you want to integrate directly into the Microsoft Office 365 cloud and Skype for Business online, you basically can't. So there, is no, there are no APIs for that. There is no way of integrating your dial tone into that. You basically have to pull the Skype for Business stuff out of the Office 365 cloud and pull it into a server. So a server that you own, that you operate, or a server that you're hosting from somebody else. Now there's a special version of this server called the Cloud Connector Edition. That's basically a skinny down version of the Skype for Business server that only supports the things that are needed to do PSTN connectivity. So that's a way to get out to the PSTN, basically the public switch telephone network. So you, that's really the only way you're going to get PSTN connectivity into Office 365 unless you take the built-in PSTN connectivity that they provide. Now that built-in connectivity is only available in the US and the UK today. I mean, I think maybe Puerto Rico is one of the places, but that's considered the United States. So there's kind of limited PSTN capability. So most enterprise customers say, I really can't go this way. I've got to pull this out into a Skype for Business server and start getting my PSTN connectivity to happen there. Now we can help you do that, right? We have Skype for Business. We're a certified SIP trunking provider into Skype for Business server. We can help you do that. Now the other thing to think about if you want to think about integrating with Skype for Business, it, are there options to integrate at the client level? Basically, you can add on applications to the clients. Um, so when you're looking at your Skype for Business software that's loaded on your PC, you can right click on a contact and say, call that person, and you end up calling them with some other application. Now the key thing is, it really only works with the PC. I've never seen any other application that works on a Mac, or that works on a tablet, or that works on a, sm on a smartphone. You're basically stuck with an integrated solution that works on PCs and PCs only. And that works okay. That will work with either Office 365 and Skype for Business Online or Skype for Business Server, but you're limited from a client perspective. So basically there's a lot of complexity when it comes to integrating with Skype for Business Server and adding different unified communications capabilities into it. And we'd love to chat with you about those different options and what one might fit your needs the best. So give us a call at West Unified Communications and we'd be happy to walk you through the options.